Lighting is an increasingly large proportion of the energy we use in homes. This is mainly due to the changes in the way we light rooms. A room that would have been lit by one or two ceiling or pendant lights now may have 10 or even more halogen downlights. There are several different types of lighting used in homes. Incandescent globes are the most common. Standard light globes and halogen lamps are both incandescent. Standard globes have been phased out by the government as they are the least efficient. Manufacturers have replaced them with halogen lamps of the same look and shape. A 60 watt standard lamp can be replaced with a 42 watt halogen. Halogens can operate off either mains or extra low voltage. Low voltage is not low energy. It's the watts that matter. Most low voltage downlights are 50 watts. In addition, low voltage lamps need a transformer which can use 10 or more watts. So a 50 watt lamp may actually be using 60 watts. Install electronic transformers instead, which use about three watts. Fluorescent lamps are four to five times more efficient than incandescent lamps. The most common types are strip, circular and compact fluorescent lamps or CFLs. Strip lamps are good for laundries, garages and possibly kitchens. Circular lamps are good for surface mounted ceiling fittings. CFLs are available in a huge range of styles and sizes to replace almost any type of lamp. Older CFLs were slow to start up and have poor quality light output. The modern versions have overcome these problems. Light emitting diodes or LEDs are an emerging lighting technology and are still quite expensive and limited in their uses. But the technology is advancing very rapidly. They can have a very long life, are compact, tough and efficient. But quality varies, so make sure you buy a decent brand. They operate off low voltage, so they need a transformer or driver, but these are electronic, so they don't use much power. The transformer is sometimes integrated into the lamp. Colour temperature is an important consideration when installing CFLs or LEDs. If replacing standard incandescent, go for a warm white 3000K CFL. If replacing halogens, go for a 3500K. Making good use of daylight will save your client on lighting bills. Halogen downlights provide pools of very bright light, meaning lots are required for general lighting. A modern living area may contain 20 halogen downlights each with individual transformers. This results in about 1200 watts of power being used when 75 watts or less of well-designed fluorescent lighting could do the same job. Halogen lamps get very hot, so downlights have to be vented to let the heat escape, punching a hole in the ceiling and insulation. This can considerably reduce the home's thermal performance, fit them with insulating covers to reduce the heat loss. Avoid all recessed downlights if possible, including CFLs. It takes more downlights to light a room compared to surface mounted or pendant lights. Consider track lighting if the downlight effect is wanted in a specific location. If you can't replace downlights, substitute halogens with CFL or LED downlights to reduce energy use. CFLs will usually not fit directly into existing recessed fittings as they are 240 volt and use a GU10 fitting, not a low voltage MR16 fitting. A conversion kit or possibly even a new fitting may be required. This requires some rewiring to remove transformers and fit converters. LEDs can sometimes be a direct plug-in replacement for halogen MR16s without removing transformers. A good quality 8 watt LED gives about the same light output as a 50 watt halogen. If you can't replace the halogen downlights, use 35 or even 20 watt halogens instead and use electronic transformers. Most CFLs can't be dimmed and must not be used on circuits with standard dimmers. But some are available for use with dimmers. Some CFLs are not compatible with electronic controls like movement sensors, sunset switches and touch switches. Refer to the manufacturer's specifications for compatibility. LEDs can be dimmed, but this may need a special transformer. If bright light is needed for a task, 
Use task lighting. Don't light the whole room to that level. Don't put all lights in a large area on one switch. Use different switches for different parts. Use two-way switching if a room has two doors. CFLs can be used for outdoor and security lights. CFL light output is reduced at low temperatures, so you might need to use a slightly higher wattage for outdoors in cold climates. So remember when installing lighting, avoid halogen lights for general room lighting. Avoid recessed down lights of any sort, use surface or pendant fittings instead. Choose the right colour temperature. Don't overlight rooms, use task lighting. Put in adequate switches and other controls. For more information, download the fact sheets at tradesecrets.org.au.